Annyeonghaseyo tout le monde, what's she you? This is the part two of my Don Quixote top 10 video. I already did a list of my top general items from the store and if you haven't watched that, make sure to go check it out. In this video, I will show you my top picks of skincare, makeup, and hair products from Don Quixote. These are all my personal favorites and I use them all on a daily basis. Make sure to comment down below which product you would like to try the most and let me know your favorite beauty items as well. Let's talk about skincare first. Keep in mind that these products can also be used by men, so don't hesitate to try it out if it sounds like something you could use. These Biore makeup remover wipes are the best. They can take off the most stubborn makeup in a few seconds. I always use these to remove my eye makeup and then use this DHC cleansing oil to take off my face makeup. Also, for people with dry skin, you can actually use this cleansing oil as a regular face wash. I'm recommending these two products together because I've been using this combo to remove my makeup ever since I moved to Japan and never changed this routine because it's the best I've tried so far. Japan is known for their skincare, and my favorite category of items is Japanese face wash. There are so many different types to choose from, but here are a couple of the most popular ones. I've heard that the soy milk face wash is the most popular one among Japanese girls. It costs less than 600 yen, which is a little over 5 USD. It's a gentle cleanser that doesn't dry out your face. One of the most popular face washes of all time is this Perfect Whip by Shiseido. It's a basic face wash that foams up nicely, smells fresh, and cleans your face really well. The next item is a pore tightening toner. Even though it's a lotion, it works as a toner. Use it with a cotton pad after cleansing, and it gives a super refreshing, almost cooling sensation. It's one of the very few items that actually helped me with pores, so if you're looking for something effective, make sure to give this a try. I'm not sure if this falls into the skincare category, but this DHC lip balm is really good. I actually have several tubes of this, so I can have one with me at all times. These make great gifts for family and friends too because everybody can use a lip balm and it works really well. They also come out with limited time packaging and different scents. I especially love this Hello Kitty version and I had to get one for each one of my best friends. The next item is a combination of skincare and makeup and it's called the Supin Powder. The interesting thing about this is that you can actually wear this powder for 24 hours, which means you don't need to wash it off. I use this as the last step of skincare at night during the hot and humid days so my face doesn't feel sticky and gross after I put on all my serum and oils. As a makeup item, it sets my makeup lightly and nicely. This is a super innovative item and I've never seen anything like this before I came to Japan, so make sure to try it out. Sometimes you guys ask what makeup I'm wearing and in many videos I'm wearing this Kate eyeshadow palette. It's an eyeshadow trio with a contouring shade. It's really small so it's perfect for traveling. My favorite colors are BR3 and BR7, and the sponge applicator in the case is actually really good. I used to always use my own brushes, but I had to use the sponge applicator one time and was surprised at how well it worked. These eyeshadows are super pigmented, blend easily and nicely, and the contour shade is perfect. Another must-have makeup item is multi eyeliners. They have a nice weight to it and I think that's what makes it so easy to use. It's often ranked at the top of all eyeliners and are waterproof but easy to remove. The three basic shades are black, brown, and brown black, but they always come out with limited time colors like this navy black one. If you want to try out more colorful eyeliners, I also recommend these love liners which have more interesting colors and still work really well. Some of you might have heard of this mascara already because it's been popular for many years and it's the Heroin Make Kiss Me Mascara. People used to find this mascara hard to remove, but they actually came out with newly improved versions that can be removed easily. I've actually never had problems with the old version of this mascara by using the makeup removing products I mentioned at the beginning of this video. 
Japan also is known for having great beauty tools. I think Shu Umura eyelash curler is more well known, but I much prefer the Shiseido eyelash curler. Personally, it works better for me and it's much cheaper. However, if you're a big fan of Shu Umura curlers, make sure to grab one in Japan because it's only 1200 yen, which is almost half of the price on their official USA website. In terms of tools, Japan has lots of useful ones for hair and body. If you want to see what my recommendations are for things like body wash, body cream, hair dye, or other related products, give this video a thumbs up and I will add it to my future video list. Also, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I do want to at least recommend these Macheri hair products. They have a wide range of different things, but I love this perfect shower spray. I often wash my hair before bed and wakes up with messy hair. I just use this spray and it will smooth out everything, making it seem like I just freshly washed my hair. I also love their curl set spray and finishing spray to keep my hair in place during the hot and humid weather. There are so many great Japanese beauty products, it was so hard to narrow it down to only 10, but I hope it gives you some ideas on what to buy at Don Quixote. You can also find a lot of these items at other drugstores, but prices may be slightly different. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!